So my name's Ian Seeger and uh, before we start this video I just wanted to uh, give you a little important uh, heads up. Basically we made this video to make flying into the LAA Rally easier, however it should be noted that this video does not in any way whatsoever replace the official documentation. So if you're going to fly in uh, you obviously need to book a slot this year um, and you need to go onto the LAA website and download the AIC and the abbreviated version of the AIC and have a really good read of those. There's a little gotcha this year which which is the original AIC that was published refers to uh, a FISO procedures that are they're not in place anymore because it's an air ground service only. Um, so read the replacement ones on the LAA website. We'll link uh, to all of the documents in the description of the video. So uh, have a safe flight in and we'll see you there. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Dave Corder from Flyer Magazine and I'm here with Chris Thompson who's going to be heading up the air ground radio team at Cywell for the LAA rally. Chris is going to take us through the 10 point plan for arriving at the rally. So Chris, we have here the essential, abbreviated essential information for arriving, probably a runway 2 one, that's the favoured one. Um, tell us all about this. The uh, original plan for, was for the, the radio at Cywell to be FISO, as, as has been in previous years, and we are unable to do that this year. So we are now going to operate an air ground system and uh, air ground of course cannot give instructions which has resulted in a rewrite of the AIC. The AIC is available when you book a slot, you have to tick a box to say you've got it and read it. Also available on the LAA website. Bear in mind that the Cywell airspace is a restricted area temporary. It's a rat, so people are not allowed in there unless they fully uh, proceeding according to the instructions. So point one is monitor uh, 122 decimal 705 for aer aerodrome information. What's all, that, what's all that about? That's correct. And uh, at this stage, there is no difference between air ground and FISO. The air ground uh, team up in the top of the tower will be making announcements, broadcasts every 10 minutes along the lines of an ATIS, so you will hear Cywa radio broadcast information, bravo, at time, runway, wind, etc., just like an ATIS. We'll be doing that every 10 minutes, so you should be able to have a good idea of what, what's expected well before you arrive at Cywa. Point two, you have to route to the assembly area at Pittsford Reservoir. Tell us about that. We basically, it's an anti-clockwise square around Pittsford Reservoir. You follow around and try and get your spacing to people who are ahead of you. The, the aircraft will hold around Pittsford Lake according to the AIC diagram and peel off and make announcements exactly as previous years. Point three, maintain VFR at all times. Why is that? There are no IFR arrivals because we don't have the capacity to do that. Point four, make a transmission. What, what, what should the call be? The transmission is basically full call sign, leaving Pittsford, the runway 21, right, and grass or hard at that point. It gives us a heads up in the tower which one we're expecting to you to go to, and the QFE readback which you would have got from the broadcast. So, yep. so Air ground can then correct that if necessary. No different to people arriving at any other airfield. If you've got it wrong, we will correct you. Otherwise, our, our response is simply just going to be Roger. We will acknowledge. Roger means I understood. Point five, you're leaving Pittsford Reservoir. What should you do? Golf Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta, leaving Pittsford for runway 21 Grass, and then you uh, and read back the QFE that you would have got from the broadcast approaching, and you stream off to intercept roughly a 45 degree to a standard downwind oblong circuit for 21. Point six, there's a line here about a single flow of traffic from the Pittsford Reservoir assembly area. Talk us through that. Well, basically, we don't want to, uh, it's, it does get hard, we appreciate that, because the faster aircraft tend to catch up with the slower aircraft. So we're really advocating no overtaking. We do want a single stream heading basically towards the centre of the airfield. If you're catching someone really quickly, you are going to have to go around. Point seven it says here, do not extend your downwind outside the rats. I would ask that people uh, turn, once they're downwind, they turn as soon as possible to the runway. In other words, if you're 
fairly obviously the number one in that position, don't go out on a half mile downwind and then a, a wide base. Point eight, I'm on finals. Uh, it says I, pilots must not continue an approach if an unsafe situation exists. Uh, what, what's, what's all that about? Well, an unsafe uh, situation would, could occur that um, someone's had a, a let's say, a, a ground loop because of the crosswind. And now where uh, the grass runway could be occupied while we hopefully just turn the aeroplane around and get it going in the right direction. Worst possible case would be someone comes off the grass or the hard and is now sat between the two runways and we would have no choice but to close the runway. Mm -hmm. That would mean you have to go, go around and return to Pittsford Lake until we announce the runway is now open again. Point nine, I'm turning final. What call should I make? They just call final was for the hard or the grass. Very simple, that's all. We don't need any inside leg measurement or anything like that. They just call final, Golf Charlie Delta, finals for the grass. Point 10, uh, supposing I have to go, go, go around. What procedure should I follow? Go around procedure is in the AIC and the route is in the AIC. Basically, you have to go back to the Pittsford Reservoir and rejoin the circling there. You know. If that's not possible, um, all aircraft should really plan for a diversion. A worst case scenario is that we had to close the airfield for some considerable time and uh, there are some recommended uh, large airfields. There's plenty of small strips around Sywell. Uh, so I would advise people to have enough fuel for a good diversion and a plan for a diversion uh, should th th we get into a worst case scenario. Thanks very much, Chris. That was great. So there's one extra point we'd like to make is when you've parked, turn off your electronic conspicuity. That will help the guys in the tower a great deal. So if you like this video, uh, give us a like, subscribe, and leave a comment.